what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to be doing a pretty um almost i guess bridal-esque eye very i guess very elegant a very elegant eye and i'm going to be using the brow bar by rima this eyeshadow palette is called bh nude beverly hills nude and it is so pretty so this is the eye look that i will be creating i'm going to show you what the palette looks like right now but if you would like to see how i create this look go ahead and keep on watching subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned here we go so this is the eyeshadow palette that i'm going to be using it is brow bar by rima you can see how reflective it is it's gold it's nice it's beautiful this is called bh nude beverly hills nude and the palette looks like this it is so pretty gorgeous you got your shimmers you got your mattes you got your transition colors you got your darker pigments your chocolate brown your white um, this was definitely for a paler skin tone right here um, I would never use this because I am too tan for that but um, it is very pretty this is a really good palette for anything bridal um, for sure and then for corporate um, this is like your go-to or for a very natural all day everyday kind of look this is definitely the eyeshadow palette that you will want to go towards so we're gonna dive into this eyeshadow palette okay so you guys can see I already have my foundation on and I have my fallout powder on so that way if I put any shadow on and it falls down it's gonna catch it so for my first color here, I'm going to go in with this shade to be my transition color. I'm going to take this all over my lid. And I'm just going to blend this all in my crease. This is a very pretty color. I feel like this could work for a lot of skin tones. If you go into the darker skin tones, no, um, then definitely I would use this one right here for any darker, um, if someone's like maybe a shade darker than me, then you could still go with this one, but if you're any darker than that, then definitely I would go with this one as your transition color. Dab it onto the lid and then I start blending it away that way the pigment is really packed on there mm -hmm. okay so now moving on I am going to dip into this darker pigment right here and I'm going to pack that on the outer and partially on the inner um, just to really warm that up super pretty okay so now I'm gonna go with this darker chocolate shade um, the shades don't have colors on them the, the names of the colors um, so it's gonna be this chocolate right here I'm gonna pack it on my outer and my inner so far so good See how it is once we blend it out. Okay, so once I've packed it on, I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend this together. So once you blend it, it does lose some of its pigment. Okay, so so far, 
I'm not in love with the darker pigment. Um, it definitely loses its color once you blend it out, but maybe that could be fixed if you use a cream eyeshadow base. I have an eyeshadow base on, but I mean like a cream pigmented eyeshadow base. So if you use like a brown or a black cream and then pack it on top, then that could, you know, maybe help that. So I'm gonna test that out. Um, I'm gonna go in with the uh, Brow Bar by Rima Dip Brow um, in dark. And I'm gonna see if this will help keep that pigment on there. This is the Dip Brow. And I'm just going to pat this on here and pat the pigment back on and see if this helps it stay. Okay, so so far just from packing it on, it does look darker. Let's see once I blend it. So it definitely is a little bit splotchy. It definitely helped to put a base down. So I feel like with this, you might need to put a base down. Any colored pigment, um, even if you want the transition color maybe a little bit darker, use like a warm like orangey peachy toned base color i'm thinking that you should just pat the pigment on instead of patting it and then blending it i think it's just you can pat blend um and i think that'll help it you know every brand that's new has trials and errors and maybe that's something that um needs to be worked on as far as when you blend out the pigment any um, blending motions any blending that I do will just be an eight all right so I'm gonna go with this color right here for the center of my lid so I'm just gonna pop it right in here shimmer base I am gonna go in with my glean by Melanie Mills and rose gold I like to use this as my base for any shimmer pigment um, and I'm gonna drop that right on the center of my eye so I'm just gonna pop this down this is the cream as my base. Dip into the shade right here. I'm actually going to go in with this shade right here, right in the center of my lid, um, just to add a little bit more dimension um, and a little bit more spotlight. So like right there. So it brings a little bit more lightness. So now moving on, um, where my shimmer pigment meets my darker shadow, I'm gonna go back in with this um, orangier shade and I'm going to tap that. I'm use that same orangey brown and I'm going to blend out up underneath So once you're done doing your eyeshadow, then you just go ahead and dust away your fallout powder, and this takes away any eyeshadow pigment that has fallen down underneath. Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner on, I am going to be going in with the Drama Queen Lashes from Brow Bar by Rima. I already have them out of their case and cut and have glue on them. I'm about to drop them on right now. Okay, so I'm going in with the Drama Queen Lashes from Brow Bar by Rima. And I'm going to...
in with the Rodeo Raw Shade Lipstick from Brow Bar by Rima. Now I'm going to blend my lip liner with my lipstick. This is the final look using the Brow Bar by Rima BH Nude Palette. Her lashes, her lipstick is fire. I love it. It's cute. It's good for every day. If you want to go to an event, you can always play it up, dress it up, jewelry, you know, the whole nine. So whatever works for you. back into my channel if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment down below what you guys would like to see next and what you liked about this video and where you think i could improve i love you guys thank you thank you thank you see you soon